my blast fresh. Yeah. I think Samsung is ill on the technology side, so. Uh, I think that fashion, sports, music, and tech uh, are all coming together because they literally go hand in hand. Like I said, 10 years ago, if you told me, like, coming out of college, like, yo, you're going to be on TV, you're going to be hanging out with your favorite players, you're going to be creating content, you're going to be NBA 2K, the game that you've been playing since you were a kid. I'd be like, like, how is that, that's, how is that even a thing? You want to help? You want to help, Rue? Nah, he knows. He knows better. He'll bite up my son's shoes, but he don't bite up my shoes. You know, I have a few interests. I think a lot of people know me for kicks. Um, you know, that was one of the first things I started doing back in the day is just focus on what the players were wearing. There wasn't any content uh, really focused on what the guys were wearing on the court. Um, and especially my next thing, which was, you know, clothing. Um, there was no content about what the guys are wearing off the court. So that's something that a lot of people know me for starting that, this whole wave of just focusing on what the guys are wearing, talking about brands. Um, and that's what helped me actually build relationships with all the NBA guys and NFL players that I know. One thing about me and my style, like I always like to be cozy. Um, I love needles pants. Um, these are super cozy. And you know, you, you look at them, you're like, oh, they're track pants, but you can really dress them up. But um, one thing I do love is, is custom. This is the time of year where the guys, you know, will really express themselves, you know, fashionably, especially at the dunk contest. I mean, with kicks, you'll see different colorways and different stories. But uh, I think it's just the time where you can really see the, the culture come through and come together. Um, artists, athletes, uh, you know, entertainers, everyone in the same. And like I said, you know, these parties, these events, it's great for that. We're in Chicago for the, uh, the big weekend. Um, it's pretty cold out here. Uh, glad I bought this big coat. Um, looking forward to seeing some of my guys like Don C, D Wade, you know, stopping by some stores like RSVP. Um, just kind of like really embracing the culture out here in Chicago. You know, I know, I know those basketball players, they like, to, they like to show their ankles and things like that, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's happening here this weekend. So, uh, Definitely looking forward to the, you know, the, the styles and there's a lot of kicks dropping too, so I'm looking forward to seeing some heat. I'd say when I'm traveling on the road, I think it's a, it's a combination of form and function and you have to dress appropriately for each occasion. Well, we're delivering about 30 outfits. Um, you know, Spencer's getting six, Bam's getting three. You know, they all want to look good for each event. Um, Aaron, ha Aaron Gordon has one suit here. We have something for um, uh, Jaron Jackson. So we have... Yeah, quite a few guys were dressing. So this is an outfit that uh, Rui will be wearing this That's nice. weekend. That's um, nice. Designed by one of our designers here, Mackenzie. Speaking, speaking to people like Alba, um, you know, that's, it's research for me. Speaking to, you know, the, the players, that's research for me. You know, it is, it's always good to just talk and, you know, figure out ways to, to change the game. Fashion, I mean, you look at guys like Russell Westbrook and, you know, his style matches his, his game and his personality. And, and I, think it's, I think it's just so important for these guys to have, to be connected to social media because of their image, right? You want to put out the right image. A lot, of, a lot of the stylist friends I have, what they always tell the players is like, yo, you know, people got to see you. You know, you got to be seen. You, know, you can't just blend in as a player. Because you have X amount of years, who knows, you know, especially with injuries and stuff like that, to, to make a statement. Nah, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah. How you feel about that? This is fire. <laughs> so, y'all see this shit? And, you know, for me as a, as a, you know, as a black journalist, as a black, you know, broadcaster, um, there weren't people that looked like me when I started doing it. Just being from Brooklyn, it's like growing up, I think that's, that's something I was, I was, I was born with, and I think, these guys are from these same places. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. It's like, I'm from where they're from. 